Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, one man talks about the science news. Well, we'd better start off the news this week with the main thing everyone's been talking about. The Quetzalcoatlus monograph is finally here. This work has been years in the making and includes five different papers from various paleontologists that describe the morphology, phylogeny, taxonomy, paleoenvironment, and history of discovery and study of the most famous Ashdarkid pterosaur of them all, the North American Quetzalcoatlus. There's way too much included in these papers to talk about all of it here, but some of the highlights include the naming of the smaller Quetzalcoatlus species that's been known from these late Cretaceous formations in Texas, but has remained unnamed for decades now. It's called Quetzalcoatlus lawsoni. Additionally, review of the pterosaur material from these formations has shown that in addition to Quetzalcoatlus lawsoni and the much larger Quetzalcoatlus northropi, a third species of Ashdarkid was present in late Cretaceous Texas the newly named Wellenhopterus brevirostris. Other interesting discoveries about Quetzalcoatlus include a reconstruction of its proportions and possible movements of its skeleton, finding that during flight its hind limbs were most likely drawn up in a bird-like manner, meaning that attachment of a wing membrane to the legs would have been useless, in addition to finding that terrestrial locomotion would have been powered almost completely by the hind limbs. The studies also find more support for the terrestrial stalking mode of life for giant ashdarkids, meaning they were stork or heron-like in their ecology and walked around terrestrial or shallow water environments hunting for prey. There's of course so much more that's included in these studies and I'd highly recommend going and having a look at them yourself, but it's very exciting to have all this new information about one of the most iconic prehistoric animals and to finally have a name for the other species. It's been a great week for pterosaur paleontology. Also in the news is the incredibly exciting announcement of a new ichthyosaur species. Coming from Upper Triassic rocks of the Russian Arctic, it's named Aurora Boreala incognita. Aurora Borealis. The paper also documents the discovery of various other ichthyosaur remains from this same locality, on one of the new Siberian islands, but none of them are diagnostic enough to be named. However, Aurora Boreala preserves enough unique features to be classified as a new genus and species, although its exact phylogenetic placement is unclear. However, it does display features that suggest it may be in one of two groups. It's a very cool discovery and I'm sure more work will be done on this fascinating new ichthyosaur in the future. And finally for this week is a new study that names five new clades, or groups, of Ornithischian dinosaurs. The paper explains how new guidelines on phylogenetic definitions of groups mean that various Ornithischian clades needed to be reviewed and revised, providing official definitions for 76 already established clades and erecting five new ones. These new ones include Corythosauria, uniting Lambiosaurines and Parasaurolophines, Euceratopsia, uniting Leptoceratopsids and Coronosaur Ceratopsians, Saphornithischia, uniting Heterodontosaurids and Genosaurs, and Panoplosaurini and Struthiosaurini, which unite certain groups of derived nodosaurids. It's an important piece of work that will be very useful for dinosaur research in the future, giving these much needed definitions to these groupings. And also, very quickly, is the exciting news that paleontology students at the world-renowned University of Portsmouth have found Jurassic, Turtle and Crocodilian bones on South Sea Seafront. There's some great news articles that you can read about these discoveries linked below. They were actually made by a good friend of mine, so I'd highly recommend going and having a look. Well, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the cool sciencey stuff that's happened recently. And we'll see you soon for a very special week.